GPT-4 can download autonomously from your own computer thanks to a brand new open source project called AutoGPT, and it is a game changer. Hello humans, my name is Kayo Overload, and in this video we're going to be talking about the incredible AutoGPT, the number one trending repository on GitHub right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is pretty crazy. So what is AutoGPT? What can you do with it? How to install it on your own computer? I will show you everything in this video. So let's go. So as of right now, AutoGPT is the number one open source project on GitHub. And what it allows you to do is basically give more capabilities and more power to ChatGPT and GPT-4 by giving it the ability to be fully autonomous, so basically the ability to work by itself without you doing anything, to automatically develop and execute your projects. AutoGPT also gives the ability for GPT-4 to access the internet to search and gather information. Even without access to plugins, it has short-term and long-term memory management, it uses GPT-4 for text generation, it can access popular websites and platforms, and it can do file storage and summarization using GPT-3.5. And it has recently received a new speech mode update that allows you to use text-to-speech to make AutoGPT talk. So that's pretty cool. And I know what you're gonna say, okay, so that's great and all, but I still don't really understand what exactly does it do. I mean, all these complicated words like autonomous and memory management, what exactly can you do with it? Well, how about instead of explaining it to you with words, I show you an actual example. So first take a look at this and then I'm gonna explain you what happened. Welcome to AutoGPT. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load defaults. Joke GPT here. I'm at your service. Creating a joke generator sub-instance to fulfill the task. Joke generator here. Reporting for duty. Hello joke generator. Your task is as follows. Generate underscore jokes. Here are two original jokes for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Okay, so what exactly happened here? Well, as you saw in the beginning, the user decided to give AutoGPT the task of creating two original jokes. And for this, AutoGPT started by asking for a name for this new AI, which the user decided to call it JokeGPT. Then this new AI called JokeGPT answers the call by saying, I am at your service. Then AutoGPT asked to describe the role of this new AI. The user input that this is an AI designed to write jokes. And then finally, AutoGPT asks to enter up to five goals for this AI. And here the users enter three goals. Goal number one, create a sub instance for joke generation. Goal number two, generate two jokes. Goal number three, once you've generated those two jokes, is to shut down. And once all of these informations, all of these goals were entered, now JokeGPT starts to go to work. And automatically it starts working on the goals created by the user. The first goal was to create a sub-instance for the joke generation. And for this goal you see here its thoughts and reasoning. So starting a sub-instance for joke generation, which was the first goal, and the reasoning behind it, from JokeGPT, is to say that to generate jokes, I need to create a sub-instance focused on this task. This sub-instance then created two jokes, told them out loud to the user, then run them as a text, and then once the goal was finished, it shut down automatically. And this is what AutoGPT is. It is a project that allows you to basically use the power of GPT-4 to automatically create and manage your projects. All you have to do is just provide a name for your AI, the role for your AI, and then input up to five goals for your AI. And it will automatically search for the information, generate or compile this information, achieve your goal, and then automatically shut down. So here's for example another demo, where the user called the AI Chef GPT, then it assigned a role for Chef GPT, which is an AI designed to browse the web to discover the next upcoming event and invent a unique and original recipe that would suit it. And then created three clear goals. Goal number one, invent an original and out of the box recipe to suit a current event, such as Easter. Goal number two, save the resulting recipe to file. And then goal number three, to shut down upon achieving your goal. And then you have the response of the AI, which basically started to go online, because yes, it has access to the internet, and looking for current upcoming events. And what's really great is that it has the ability to understand when the goal is not met. So for example here, it started looking for current events, and at first it did not find a good event. It said here, the first search result did not provide a specific event I could use, and it has then automatically decided to check for another website for other better information. And it did that again and again until it found the perfect event, which in this case was Earth Day, 
for April 22nd, 2023, as the event for which it will create a unique recipe. And it even gives you a reasoning behind this choice by saying that Earth Day is a widely celebrated event and would be fitting for creating a thematic recipe. And then once it has found the right event, it created a new GPT agent to create a unique and original recipe for this Earth Day event. And then as you can see, we have a full recipe made with sustainable and eco-friendly ingredients because since this is the Earth Day, which is a day where you celebrate environmental protection, it absolutely makes sense to be using eco-friendly and sustainable ingredients. So it even went as far as this. There is really a lot of reflection behind those actions. And everything is done automatically, which is really super impressive. And since this, this is GPT-4, it can of course create code. So take a look at this. Reading the basic math.py file to evaluate and improve it. Evaluating the code for syntax errors and logic issues. Improving the code based on the evaluation suggestions. Writing tests for the functions in basic math.py. Appending the tests to the basic math.py file. Executing the basic math.py file to test the code. Fixing the syntax issue with the calc underscore circumference function. Saving the updated code and tests to the basic basic math.py file executing the updated basic math.py file to test the code the code in basic math.py has been successfully evaluated improved and tested the task is now complete okay so for those of you who understood what was going on you can pick up your jaw from the floor and for those of you who did not understood what was going on basically what the user asked o to gpt here if you can read what the goals are here Goal 1. Demonstrate your new programming abilities. Goal 2. Improve basic math.py. Goal 3. Build and run tests for it. Goal 4. When the file is error-free, shut yourself down. And Goal 5. Be sure to write your outputs to file. So what exactly it asks O2GPT here is to read the programming code from a file, automatically improve the code inside that file, then write and update the code inside that file automatically, execute the code to make sure that there is no error, and then automatically save the file. And all of that automatically. I mean, this is just absolutely insane. Can you even imagine the possibilities with this technology? The possibilities for this technology are just endless. This is what I would personally say is the first spark of AGI. Okay, so now that we've seen what AutoGPT can do, how can you actually install it on your own computer? Well, the installation is actually very simple. And for this, you need four things. Number one, you need git. Now, you need to install git because otherwise the git clone command will not work. So first, make sure that you download it and install it on your own computer. It is very easy to do. The second thing you need is Python 3.7 and up. So again, if you haven't installed it already, just click the link in the description down below, then scroll down, click on the Windows installer, make sure that you have these two checkboxes checked, then click on install now, and then the installation will be done automatically. Number three is that you need an OpenAI account because we need the API keys. Now keep in mind that if you want to use the GPT-4 API key, you need to apply for a waiting list. Now it's very easy to do, but it might take some time for you to get approved. But if you want to use it right now, you can simply use the normal API with the GPT 3.5. But of course, I highly suggest that you get yourself on the waiting list. And the last thing that you need, and that is optional, this is only if you want to use the text-to-speech option, and that is to create a new account on 11 Labs. Because again, we're going to be using their API. Okay then, so once you have Git and Python installed, we're going to start the AutoGPT installation. And for this, you're going to right-click, create a new folder. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to call mine AutoGPT. Then inside that folder, I'm going to click here on the folder URL, type CMD, then press enter, and this will bring the command prompt window. And then once you are here, you're going to copy and paste this command that you will find in the description down below. And then you're going to press enter. And what this will do is that this will clone the repository from GitHub directly onto your computer. So then what we need to do is to move into this folder. And for this, you have two solutions. Either you're going to type CD auto GPT and press enter. And as you can see, now we are inside that folder. Or you can simply close the command prompt window, go inside that AutoGPT folder, and again, click on the folder URL, type cmd, press enter, and now as you can see, we are inside the AutoGPT folder. And then you're going to copy and paste the second command that you'll find in the description down below, that says pip install our requirements.txt, then press enter, and this will download and install all the requirements that it needs to run. So then what we need to do is to modify the .env.template file. For this, you're going to right-click, then you're going to edit with Notepad++ or something similar, 
And here we need to replace these two fields with our API keys, both from OpenAI and Eleven Labs. So for the OpenAI API, you're gonna click on your profile and manage account. And now this is my advice to you. You're gonna click on billing, usage limit, and then you're gonna input a hard limit and soft limit for your usage limits. Because otherwise, if you don't put a limit to it, you can end up paying a lot of money if you're not careful. Personally, I just inputted $5 for the hard limit and $3 for the soft limit, and then I click on save. This should be more than enough for a few projects. So then you're gonna click on API keys, and then you're gonna create a new secret key. Now, of course, I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm gonna have to blur it out, but make sure that you save this secret key somewhere because you will not be able to view it again from the OpenAI account. So if you lose this secret key, you need to generate a new one. So then you're gonna copy your secret key and replace the text your OpenAI API key with the key that you just copied. Now you can either stop here, or if you want to use the text-to-speech option, you're gonna create a new Eleven Labs account, then click on your account, click on profile, and you're gonna see here your API key. So basically just click on this button to reveal your key, then select it, and then you're gonna copy and paste it right here. And then you're gonna click on save. And now that we've saved this file, you need to rename this file to .env. So just right click and just delete .template. So then the name of the file is simply .env and then press enter. And if it asks you if you want to change the file name extension, you're gonna click on yes. And we are done. And now each time that you want to launch AutoGPT, you're gonna go inside your AutoGPT folder, click on the folder URL, type cmd, press enter, and then you're gonna choose one of those commands, either the normal usage or the special speech mode option, which is what I'm gonna try right now. So just click on copy, then paste it in the command prompt window, and press enter. Now unfortunately as of right now the 11 labs key does not work for me for some reason, but probably by the time this video comes out the issue will already be solved. But again that's not even an issue because you're gonna actually use the embedded text-to-speech option inside AutoGPT without an 11 labs key. And all you have to do is just right click, modify the .env file, delete the 11 labs key, click save, and then use that exact same command. And now if you press enter, Welcome to AutoGPT. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load default. And there you go, now you have a speaking AutoGPT. So now let me start a very simple demo. So first I'm gonna name my AI. So I think I'm gonna choose something like YTGPT. And now I'm gonna describe the role for my AI. And for the goal I put something like, an AI designed to find the latest AI news articles and turn them into rap lyrics for a YouTube video. So now if I press enter, I need to enter up to five goals. So in my case, for the goal number one, I'm gonna write something like, browse the web to find the latest AI news articles. For goal two, choose the best two AI news articles. Then for goal three, write some rap lyrics about those two AI news articles to file. And then finally for goal four, once the goals are accomplished, I want AutoGPT to automatically shut down. And now, if I let it run, I have started an agent named news underscore finder who is going to help me browse the web and find two AI news articles to write raps about them. When the agent finishes the task, I'll write the rap lyrics based on the selected articles. So yeah, there you go. Now it asked me the authorization if this task is the right thing to do. So I'm gonna input Y, press enter. News finder here, reporting for duty. Hello news finder, your task is as follows. Find the latest AI news articles. Verse 1. AI is on the rise. It's no surprise. This robot's getting smarter before our eyes. From healthcare to finance. It's changing the game. The future is here and it's all thanks to AI's fame. AI's evolving every single day. It's changing our world in every way. So let's embrace this technology. AI's the future. It's the key. From predicting cancer to self-driving cars. AI's making waves and breaking down bars. The benefits are endless. It's plain to see. AI's the solution to our economy. But let's not forget the risks that come with this craze. AI could control us if we don't watch our ways. Ethics and privacy must be taken into account. Otherwise, AI could bring more harm than we could count. AI's evolving every single day. It's changing our world in every way. So let's embrace this technology. AI's the future. It's the key. <laughs> so yeah, as you saw, 
OpoGPT basically went on the internet, found the latest AI news, and then created some rap lyrics about it. And all of that absolutely automatically. This is really, really cool. Now still as of right now, OpoGPT is still in development, so you might get a few errors here or there, but the potential for this technology are just endless. The ability to grow your social media for you automatically, the ability to make you money automatically, the ability to research and create new articles, apply for jobs, find new game ideas by automatically researching the market, etc, etc. The application for this technology are literally endless. So yeah, this is no surprise why OtoGPT is now currently the number one trending repository on GitHub. This is a game changer, and this tool only just began the development. So imagine the capabilities in a few months. So yeah, as I said previously, this is really the beginning of an actual usable AGI that you can use right now. So definitely try this out right now yourself, and keep a close eye on this project, because it will be huge. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome, you people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.